the Lord. I am in Santorini, Greece, outside of a Greek Orthodox church. My little uh, ATV is over there that I, I got. Whenever I need a break from ministry, and I need lots of breaks, but a really good get away from the ministry break. I come to Santorini, Greece. Thank you, Jesus. And my birthday is October 22nd. I will be 47. So um, a lady in uh, America bought my plane ticket that is married to a street preacher, and I appreciate her. Now, I am making this video called Why I Don't Want to Marry a Street Preacher. Now, I want to say this before I get into the reasons why I don't want to marry a street preacher. First of all, I love street preachers. I encourage people to become street preachers. I've seen over a hundred people stand by my side and preach their very first sermon. Uh, I taught a class in 2001 on street preaching. I did a lot of research. I taught on the preachers in the Bible. I taught on how to face your fears. I taught on John the Baptist. I taught on Ezekiel. I taught on many things, and I had men and women in that class. My leaders knew I had a leadership gift on my life, and they encouraged me to pursue this. And so I did. I love street preachers. There's two men that are pastors on the board of my ministry, Highways and Hedges Ministries, that are both street preachers. Um, I'm a street preacher. I believe in street preaching. I just don't want to marry one. I want, um, I want my husband to be opposite of me. I want to go home uh, to a hard-working businessman out in the corporate world, and at home it is peace, it is loving, it is different conversations about his life and my life, and it's going to be different at home is what I'm hoping for. I do not want to go home and watch my husband uploading videos to YouTube uh, on Facebook, uh, upset about the latest street preacher scandal or comments or this or that. I don't want that. Now, I work with a lot of street preachers. I've been all over the world, 54 countries now, 55 next week in Cyprus, next month 56 because of Macedonia. Praise the Lord for that. And I have met street preachers in Germany, Wales, um, England, um, Japan, South Korea. I've met many awesome people. And I will stand with most street preachers and give grace, but that does not mean I want to marry them and be with them every single day and all their drama. Now, is every street preacher full of drama? No. I just, um, I'm not interested in that kind of lifestyle for marriage. I have had a great life traveling the world, preaching the gospel, and people assume that I'm going to marry somebody and they're going to travel with me, or people assume that I'm going to um, get married to him and follow his schedule, but that, I'm not interested in that. You know what I'm in? I really want to marry a man that is very ambitious, get behind his vision, and just cheer him on. Go, 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 you mighty man, you. That's what I want. But I just don't find men attractive that wear Jesus t-shirts and hold banners. As far as a husband, it's not what I want. You know, I believe opposites attract. I read a book one time called, I've read many marriage books, I've watched many marriage videos, and I watched a, I read a book about the turtle and the 
the eagle. And the eagle would be spontaneous, fly high, and just would make impulse decisions and just, you know, see the world. That's kind of the way I've been living. But then the turtle, opposite. Down on the ground, level-headed, uh, thinks things out a little bit longer, long-term planner, not spontaneous, maybe a little boring. That's a turtle for you. And I just bought a new suitcase with a turtle for that one of those reasons. <laughs> Because I'm most likely going to marry a turtle. Because they would balance me out. Because I'm just out there, man. I'm just out there flying and just running around the world, living on the edge. You know, I take my ATV up to 50 when I can get that thing up there. And I just, whoa, and I yell and scream. And my husband's probably going to be like opposite, like, what are you doing? That's not safe. Did you wear a helmet? No, I didn't wear a helmet. I was born to be wild. So, you know, street preachers are typically very impulsive, very mouthy. Um, and I wrote down the word annoying. I find many street preachers annoying. Like, ah, oh, would you shut up? Some of the worst sermons I've ever heard before were from street preachers. <laughs> So the problem is a lot of street preachers think they're John the Baptist, but they're not. They're just a jerk. You can quote me on that. Amen. I, I don't want to go home uh, and do the whole competition thing. And some street preachers are insecure. And one of the reasons they're insecure is because they're not anointed. You know, God never called them. They just went out there and you know, maybe they wanted just uh, something to do, or they saw these other street preachers on uh, YouTube, and they're like, hey, I want to do that too. For whatever reason, I know God called me. It's a, I've proven fruit that God called me. God called me February 27, 1999 at the Brownsville Revival. I cried every day for two weeks. I was like, God, why would you call me? I have an eight-year-old son. I had a business for four years. Uh, I was doing good. All I wanted to do was be an evangelist on my job. I didn't want to go to Bible school four years. But you know what? I obeyed God. I went to Bible school. When I graduated, my son was at the bottom of the stairs with roses. And now my son is almost 27, praise God. And I've still never been married. And over the and I'm not crying about that. Do you see tears? Come on, I've had a great life. I'm not sitting here at my 47th birthday like, Oh my gosh, I've never been married. Oh my God. Hey, if I had been married, I would have never traveled the world. Come on now. How many how many men would have paid for me to go to 23 countries this year? Come on now. Thank you, Jesus. I, I am not crying on my 47th birthday because I didn't marry somebody yet. I'm just thinking about my future. Amen. So I want my husband to be a nice place to come home to. I don't want my husband to be a cruel messenger. You know, a lot of street preachers, I, I had never known about this scripture until a few years ago, but uh, Proverbs 17, 11, uh, talks about cruel messengers. When people are in rebellion, God will send a cruel messenger to them. Well, that's great, that's great. But I want a nice man and I want a man I'm attracted to as well. I'm not just looking for any kind of man. I heard this uh, this pastor do a sermon and he was talking about at McDonald's and it was just a great story and I wanna reshare it. He said, when you go to McDonald's, he says he knows exactly what he wants. Like number four, Coke, he gets the same thing every time. Well, when you have an order like that, you pull up to the window and you get it quickly because it's what everybody else wants, too. But he says, when my wife orders, she says, 
Uh, you know, I always say hold the onions. I hate onions. Even in Greece, don't, don't give me those onions. Take them off that salad. So when you have a special order, what do they tell you at the drive-thru? They say, okay, we'll get that order out to you, but pull over. So when you have to pull over, what do they do? They bring it out to your car and then say thank you. Okay? So when you have a special order, like I do, I've had a special order <laughs> for what kind of husband I want, you have to pull over and you have to wait. So I've waited because I have a special order. I want a man... I want a man that I can be like, oh, wow, I gave up, I gave up traveling the world for you. Now, there's two ways to say that. Oh, man, I gave up traveling the world for you? Or you can be like, oh, man, I gave up traveling the world for you. Oh, my gosh, kiss me. Yeah. Okay, there's a difference, amen. <laughs> Praise God. So, I uh, oh, also wrote down, I can't stand when these street preachers dress up like a Catholic. Oh, my gosh. I don't like the street preacher t-shirt. I'm talking about for a husband, okay? Not hanging out with my friends. My friends, I love when you wear your Jesus t-shirt. My friend over in Korea, he gave me a very cool... Uh, Jesus a sweatshirt. I love wearing that stuff, but I'm saying opposites attract. I want a sharp dress man. I don't want a man out there with his gloves and his pepper spray and his bulletproof vest. I want a man at work in the corporate world. Uh, I mean, there's different kinds of men I like. I like construction workers. I, I just... You know, I like hard workers. My dad was a hard worker. And, but right now, I just hope I get a, a good looking, sharp dressed man in the corporate world. Hallelujah. So I think I've pretty much covered everything why I don't want to marry a street preacher. And uh, it's not that I don't want to hang out with street preachers, I do. I preached all over America with street preachers. Um, but seriously, there's times where I go home and I just say, thank you, God, I'm not married to them. I've, I've seen new street preachers rise up and they get upset and they share about how their wives don't, you know, encourage them. And I'm like, well, your wife might not encourage you because you're not anointed. I can see why. Or maybe you you have been acted like Jesus at the house. So why is she all of a sudden supposed to be excited because you want to go preach the gospel? The number one need of a man is not sex. The number one need of a man is uh, honor. The man needs to be respected. And at the end of the day, I know, that's why I say I'm wearing black and white, okay? At the end of the day, I know I cannot marry a man that I am not attracted to or that I cannot say from the depth of my soul, you are awesome. If I cannot tell a man, you are awesome, I want to give my whole life to make sure you you become more awesome because that's why I want to marry I feel like God has put within me to be a helpmate to make that man more awesome and and there might be somebody out there that's a young street preacher right now saying but if you pick me you can help me be more awesome no I I don't want to do that you know what I mean? Look, I was called Mama Fuego a few years while I was living in Texas. I worked at uh, a Bible school, and I took many people to the streets and helping them street preach. And they called me Mom. 
and one thing I do not want in a marriage is uh, to to marry somebody that needs to be mothered. I want to marry someone that is already confident, already sure of himself, and just I'm an addition to his life, like Eve was to Adam, and I'm going to push him forward. And if I am very impressed with him, that will be, it will work. It will work. But I'm telling you, I've been watching the street preacher community for a long time. I, I have met many street preachers around the world, and I have come to the conclusion I do not want to ever marry a street preacher. God bless you from Santorini, Greece.